Hello and welcome back for another screencast and in this one I'm going to show you how you can add owner information, author information as a photographer and also copyright information to your Canon EOS 500D T1 Iron Kiss X3. Um, I believe it's the same um, in many of the Rebel series although, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, the later version, the 550D or T2i, you can actually change and add this information in camera rather than having to use the EOS utilities to do so. Um, in the more professional camera bodies like the 7D, 5D Mark II and the 1D series, um, I believe you can also add it in camera um, as well so you don't have to connect it to a computer to do so. Um, I've just updated the firmware which was successful so what we'll do now, we'll fire up the EOS utility. There we go, like I say, just bear with me on this laptop, it's um, a little bit old now, four years old and it's getting on a bit. So it uh, slows down a little bit when we're doing screencast, and this keeps on coming up. So we'll get rid of that. And here we are, the EOS utility. And we'll click on camera settings and remote shooting, uh, which will start up that section of the utility. Okay. And here we are. And we can actually control um, the camera manually here, but I'll I'll cover this in a separate tutorial. So it's just to add the author and copyright information and owner information we'll click on the setup menu tab which is a picture of a hammer and spade spade spanner <laughs> um, okay so owner's name now I've already added some details um, in as you can see in these sections here okay now owner's name you can just click on there and add your owner's name that will be your full name okay author now what this will actually let you do is, as a photographer, add your name in there as well. And what I'm also going to add to that um, is my website address um, as well by pressing Shift and then Enter. Okay, www.rjbradbury.com And I will also add my mobile contact number and my email address as well, but I'll do that once I've stopped recording because, um, no offence guys, I don't want those details out there. To be honest with you, um, um, copyright notice, and this is the important thing here. So, copyright notice, I've added my full name there. Okay, and the year also. I always generally add the year. I've done it at the bottom of my website as well, and any other, any other things. You'll notice the watermarks on the images. I've got um, copyright RJ Bradbury 2010, and I update that um, as the years go by. So each year, uh, I'll just get rid of that yet again. <sighs> Dear Windows Vista, you suck. Right, so uh, that's how you would add information using the EOS utility. Okay, oh look, firmware was up to date, so that worked. And what this will do is whenever you take a picture, it will tag all that information onto the picture, the picture file, whether you shoot RAW or JPEG. Um, and when you import it into Canon's Digital Photo Professional, or Lightroom or Photoshop all that information is there ready to go so you don't have to add that on each on each shot or batch add it each time you pull um, another selection into those utilities or, the, or that software so that's how you set that up on your Canon EOS 500D T1 I and Kiss X3 if you have any questions at all then um, shoot them down in the comments and um, chuck me an email um, via YouTube via my website okay and uh, I'll be go away <laughs> and I'll be happy to answer those for you. Okay, we all know the YouTube channel now, that's Rick J Bradbury. And uh, more tutorial videos will be on the way very, very soon. Um, some of the ones that I want to do that are in the field, uh, I want, I'm waiting for my cameraman to be free. Uh, you're right there, Mark, that's you. And um, we'll get those sorted very, very soon. So I hope this has been helpful. Okay, so chuck a uh, message in the comments, mail me via YouTube or the website, and I will catch you guys later. Cheers now. Bye.